Alright guys, so here it is. This is a full explanation of how I got the Hell's Redeemer. Um, I'm not going to call it a tutorial because I don't know exactly what I did to get this thing. Um, but I'm just going to show you guys what I went through to actually finally get it after having a bunch of my own problems. Um, so yeah, I really hope this will help you guys. Maybe, you know, it'll, it'll show you what you're doing wrong. Um, so that was me grabbing it, but here I am, I go to the Golden Gate Bridge after I get the Hell's Retriever. i show you my kills right there, I have 138 kills. Um, and so I'm actually, I'm on like round 7 or 8 I think, I think I'm on round 8. So I go ahead and I use nothing but, this very first time I use nothing but the Hell's Retriever for this full round. Um, at the end of the round I actually save one zombie, so that when I spawn back in I'm not swarmed. And um... So yeah, I kill them all, I save my one zombie, and um, you know, like I said, I just do that so that when I spawn back in Alcatraz, I'm not swarmed. So here's my ending kills. I have 190. So you can do the math. I mean, it's way more than 30 like everyone's saying, so I thought I was good. I used nothing but the Hell's Retriever, but I come over here, and it won't take my tomahawk. And, I mean, this is just a couple of attempts, but I actually tried this multiple times. I tried fully charging it up. I tried half charging it up. I tried just throwing it and nothing. It, it will not take my tomahawk. So then I go back to the Golden Gate Bridge. This is on like round 16 or 17 or something halfway through the game. Um, I figured, you know, maybe since I did on such a low round that it wasn't, you know, counting yet. So, you know, it's just a wild theory I threw out there. But so I go back to the bridge and yeah, this is me. I'm just you know I do like all of this round um, but then once again at the end of this round I save a zombie and go back to Alcatraz once again I save one that way you know I'm not swarmed when I actually come back through so yeah I ended up getting like you know 60 more kills or something with nothing but the tomahawk so once again I thought you know okay I, I should be good I got way more than 30 kills um, you know, this time it, it should work. I did it on a higher round. It was a double-digit round, so, you know, I really felt like this was it. This was gonna, you know, make it work for me. Yeah, this is me just finishing it up. Alright, so, here, once, this is me. Once I go back to Alcatraz, I have my one zombie saved. I throw my tomahawk and nothing. It's not going to take it. It just throws it right back at me. So again, I tried it a bunch of times. Tried charging it up, things like that. Nothing was working. Um, so then I actually, I go back to the bridge. This is like round 20. On round 25, I save a zombie. I go to the bridge. I actually start round 26 already on the bridge. And um show you guys I I do all of round 26 on the bridge I completely finish out the round um, so I did round I want to point out I did round 26 from the very beginning from the first zombie all the way until I finished it and I actually start round 27 so then you know on round 27 which I'm right here I go ahead I finish them up I actually do use I have the upgraded ray gun and the upgraded acid gat. I don't know if that hang, had anything to do with it, but I got really tired at the end of round 27. I had, you know, way more than enough kills, so I just started blasting them away. Um, and then at the end of round 27 is when I actually save my couple zombies and go back to Alcatraz again. So I did all of round 26, saved a zombie at the end, end of round 27. That way you don't get totally bum rushed. I came over here, I, I was really tired, so I hit the wrong button, threw a grenade, that had nothing to do with it. Um, so I throw it, and it accepts it. Notice I didn't charge it up at all, you don't have to charge it up, you just throw it, and it will take it. So that had nothing to do with it, obviously. Um, so I'm really excited at this point, I'm ready to go get my um, Hell's Redeemer, you know, I'm pumped up, I'm like, yes, it took it, but then, what, it, it's not blue, it's, it's not in ghost mode. What did I do? What am I doing wrong? I don't know, but just to double check, I go into afterlife mode, and I'm actually going to go over there, and I'm going to try and pick this thing up, just in case, you know, it's a glitch or something like that. Um, but as you can see, no, no, not happening. It won't let me pick it up. So at this point, I'm just frustrated. Um, I almost just want to end the game right here. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, so I kill the zombies in a fit of rage. 
and the next round starts and that pops up it actually turned blue so I'm guessing after you come back from the Golden Gate Bridge you actually have to start the next round before it will actually turn into ghost mode so you know that's just my theory um, another possibility is I did actually travel to the Golden Gate Bridge three times so did that have something to do with it? I don't know. I, it's like the achievement where you got to go there three times. Um, so yeah, and then um, as you guys will see right here at the end of the video, I'm actually able to finally pick this thing up. And I know how frustrating you guys have to be because this was frustrating the crap out of me. Again, I don't really, I can't say for certain what worked for me. That's why I'm not going to call this a tutorial. But this is a full explanation in detail of how I happen to get it so whatever theories you guys have um, you know definitely leave me a comment and let me know what I did differently to where I could finally get this thing um, I think the main point was I, I did a whole round on the Golden Gate Bridge from beginning to end so I hope this helps you guys out and again thanks for watching I'm Z and I'm out